Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. I'm playing with this Kenwood TS570 radio, this old, old 90s radio that is just fantastically amazing. Today I found out that the internal tuner is just phenomenal. Let's go check this thing out. Okay folks, we're sitting here with firmware version 3.2 on the N7DDC designed ATU100. This is a fantastic tuner right here, highly recommended using it for demonstration purposes because it's not designed to do what I'm asking it to do. I'm trying to prove to you how awesome the Kenwood TS570's internal tuner is. Usually internal tuners on radios are not supposed to be this good. I'm gonna reset this. It says reset on the screen. I'm gonna key down and we're gonna see infinity SWR 9.99, which is as high as the scale goes. Now I'm gonna tune it using the external tuner. And she struggled, but didn't get us anywhere. We're still at 9.9 .9 on the external tuner and at infinity on the internal tuner. Let's reset this, which takes it out of the circuit. And now I'm gonna use the internal tuner inside of the Kenwood TS570. You can see right here where it says RX and antenna one that there's nothing in between. When I turn on the internal tuner, you see AT. So you can tell that it's in line, but let's move down a bit and let's tune on a different frequency. She's crunching away and we got it tuned. And if you look at the SWR meter right here, one to one SWR. The external tuner is overloaded, can't understand what's going on because it is still seeing the antenna. This is still seeing bad SWR even though the radio is tuned up properly. So that's 160 meters on a DX commander with its largest element being 40 meters. I'm gonna switch over to 80 meter band, pick a new frequency because I was playing with that earlier. We've got the antenna tuner off. We've got that reset. And so now I'm gonna do a tuning cycle with it. Infinity SWR. Tuned to 2.05 to one SWR on the external tuner, the N7 DDC model. So now we look at it, two point something on the scale internally and then on the external scale, 2.2. Okay, so that's not terrible, but can we do better? So I hit reset to take this out of the loop. I turn on the AT, the antenna tuner built into the radio. I'm gonna run the tune cycle. And we're tuned, that was fast. Look at that, one to one SWR. And then this thing's still reading bad SWR from the antenna. But again, that's to be expected because it's literally seeing bad SWR because it's on the far side of the tuner. So like I was saying in the video, the ATU100 is a fantastic bit of kit. It does everything it's supposed to do. I was just using it as a reference for how much better the Kenwood internal tuner is. Just gotta have something to compare it to. I own both products. I like both products. There is a link in the description down below where you can go get both products because they are that awesome. That was fantastic. Internal tuner built into the radio can tune the DX Commander on 160 meters. Crazy. There's a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll be over there waiting for you.